guys, I am back with another Destiny 2 video, and since I just did this today, uh, I might as well talk about Guardian Ranks. Um, I exited out of my tower instance while I still had the glowy gold thing on, which would have looked cooler for this video, but at least I took some screenshots for the thumbnail. Uh, I just hit, where is it, Journey Rank 9 which is the highest rank currently available because GMs are not live yet, and that is a requirement of rank 10. Um, this system was one of the, the new additions to the game that came with Lightfall, and I would say if on the spectrum of commendations to loadouts in terms of bad to good, it's maybe somewhere in the middle. Um, I find it more just kind of useless than anything, uh, especially in the current form where it kind of where it resets to a certain point every season. Some stuff doesn't reset, some stuff does. Uh, and in a way, it just seems like a different form of triumph score with less stuff and that displays over your head. Um, I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings about it. Uh, first of all, I think we could all agree that it was pretty goofy that Everyone logged in and everyone on Earth was rank 6 when they started, no matter if you played like 50 hours or 5,000 hours, because all of these legendary, or all of these rank requirements below this are nothing. You need 9 weapons to achieve uh, rank 5 or 10 pieces of armor, like do the intro risk runner quest, do the risk runner catalyst quest, like this is five like this all this other stuff is like the most basic of possible things you could do which you know i get that bungie kind of wanted this to be an onboarding system for new players to like tell them what to do and where to go uh it is certainly not a replacement for something like the red war so i'm not sure how much this did help with onboarding um as i reported yesterday you know late fall player numbers are very high i don't know what percentage of that we can credit to new players sticking with the game because of the good old guardian rank system but it was pretty weird to drop everyone at six and now when the new season starts everyone will be at six again because you're going to have to rerun uh or regrind these levels to get up higher the process to do that will be faster but you will still have to do everything over again each season for the reward of question mark question mark question mark um <laughs> so it's it's essentially two things it's you get new lines at the Kate statue. My line today was like Zavala saying that he is happy that he was in a fire team with like Korra and Cade as he's like under combat. I don't really know what was going on there. Um, and then you get the number over your head and bragging rights and a cool little upgraded banner that uh, appears around it. I don't think I can, can, I see, can I see my own? Yeah. Okay. It looks like this. Um, a lot of these are the same, like 7 and 8 is the same, 9 and 10 is the same, and then once you get to 11, you get the super cool banner, but I don't even know what the rank requirements for 11 are. I assume it's Master Dungeons and Raids and things like that, because those are not a part of rank 10. Um, and so, I, I don't know how many people know this, but like the way this is going to work going forward is that everything blue is going to reset. Everything gold is going to stay. So you don't have to redo all the, oh, I got to stun 40 champions or whatever. Um, or, you know, do the solo flawless lost sector thing and stuff like that. All that stuff is staying. So what resets, pretty much what resets is a lot of very basic seasonal stuff. Um, it's pretty much just play the season, you know, seasonal rank seven, like two, by two war table upgrades. And then as you move to eight, that increases a little more to do 10 total seasonal challenges, get 20 total seasonal ranks, um, and then beat the one, or beat the exotic quest, or um, one of the battlegrounds on Legend. And as we know, the Legend battlegrounds are stupidly easy. Then it's get a combination score of 477. That has been lowered heavily. I have 1892 never farming commendations outright. Uh so a lot of the stuff that's resetting is going to be pretty easy, I would say, to get back up to at least level 8. Then things get a little trickier for rank 9. So some of the, the harder-ish stuff was like, okay, get a master Nightfall difficulty score of 200,000. That was pretty doable in Glassway, but obviously Master Glassway is not the most fun thing in the world with LFG. 
Uh, complete all the dungeons at least once, complete all the raids at least once, where even if I barely raid, I've at least done that. <laughs> um, and then collect 20 pieces of exotic armor, 85 exotic weapons, that's actually a lot. But uh, if you've been playing all this time, you have all this stuff already. Get two total titles, things that are not the hardest. And then the, the resetting stuff, it's going to be combination score again. I assume your combination score resets every season. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, get seasonal artifact power to plus 12. That is easy. What am I at? Uh, plus 19. So, like, that wasn't even really close. Uh, the hardest one, certainly, or the most annoying one, is hit the pinnacle cap. Uh, I spent about two weeks trying to get to the pinnacle cap because I just could not get a pair of 1810 gloves. And I finally got those today, which is how I hit rank 9. Um, and then that is taking me now to rank 10, where a lot of this stuff I've already done, but it is not actually possible to get rank 10 because you need uh, Grandmaster Nightfalls. You need to just do one Grandmaster Nightfall and uh, get 230,000, which on most of those I assume will not be the hardest thing on earth. You need to do, and this, so one thing to notice, this is one of the only ones like this that resets. So all of these other ones, for the most part, are seasonal, like based on seasonal progression uh, or commendations, which I think we all agree that commendations being in this is stupid, <laughs> but they've, they've already dramatically reduced them. Uh, so this is the one that resets. So every season you'll have to do at least one GM. So it's like a little mini conqueror thing. Uh, and then there's this combination thing, which I complained about on Twitter two seconds ago, but everyone then proceeded to tell me it's not actually that hard because the it says get leadership combinations, provide a bonus, and receive ally and leadership. Com I don't I don't know what the classifications of the combinations are, but I guess this goes pretty fast doing like strikes or iron banner or something, so that's not hard. Um, do a GM with a darkness subclass, so it's pretty much just GM stuff, and then master lost sectors. Uh, one of which you have to do flawlessly, which if you're very careful and with the recent master uh, health nerf a little bit, that should be easier. I don't know. I don't really think I'm going to go for 10 because by the time I end up like GMs drop in what, next week, the middle of April, somewhere there. And then you just have a month and a half left. And like, I'm not a big GM person, obviously. So like, I probably won't go for 10. I don't really care. Um, I just... Just the system exists kind of for its own sake. And I don't know if that's something that I'm going to really care about going forward here. Like it's something to do. Like you could make your number go up in all, in all your little activities. People will think you're a more dedicated player. Um, I, I think you can make the argument that, that the number for Guardian rank and I guess the title, I don't know what all its title, Exemplar, Justicar, Elites, Veteran, Exemplar. Uh, okay, a vanquisher. I'm making because I'm a vanquisher now. Um, you could argue that this is better than season pass rank because that was really just how much of a bounty goblin you were. Like you know, if you're getting up into the hundreds, or if you're just like the craziest crucible grinder of all time and just you know loading yourself up with elk speed, that doesn't really mean anything. It just means you play the game a stupid amount and do a stupid amount of bounties. This at least is like you're well rounded. If you get to ten, you've done a GM. You're competent enough to do a GM or flawless one master lost sector. And then this will be obviously for people who are doing master raids and master dungeons. And I don't know what the other ones are going to be. Maybe you have to like go flawless or something in trials, which if they did that, people would lose their minds. There really, are, are there not really any PVP things in here? There's like no PVP or gamut stuff in here. I don't think, which is interesting. So it's pretty much only PVE stuff because I, you know, you know, people would have hated if they put a bunch of PVP stuff in these. So I, I don't really think they're going to do that. And I don't think that's in rank 11. This is probably data mined. I just haven't looked it up yet. So I just don't really get it. Um, I don't know if this is like some brilliant onboarding process for new players. I don't think it is. I guess it might be better than absolutely nothing, but it is like teaching them the most basics of basics. And a lot of these things are already just like do the intro quest that we already have assigned to you and then claim a triumph for it. So like, I guess just by doing the stuff, you think you will be making progression, you know, past these, uh, you know, early milestones here, but it's like, okay, complete, <laughs> complete the one new quest that teaches you the basic destiny. Okay. Now you're ranked two. like talk to fail safe. 
<laughs> like these are are not exactly um I, I don't really know what this is doing here after this again like I, I feel like there's enough to do in destiny if you are really looking for stuff to do and uh, you know i think all the loot grinds are a little more compelling than just making your rank number go up but like i mean i did it i engaged with it uh i just don't know without some more significant changes or some way to make this more interesting if i do it again because there's no concrete reward here if the if the reward as you hit a new rank it's like okay you get a cool emblem for eight there's a unique sparrow for nine like you make it all the way to 11 and you get a cool seasonal ship that is never going to be available again like i don't know some people might complain about that but like if it's a bunch of cool cosmetics or something or I, I don't even know what else i guess it could be some actual like seasonal loot like a curated role of something I, I don't know just something that isn't like talk to the cade statue and go gold and glowy in the tower like five times like i don't know th th this seems like a start and i don't know if the resetting is as big of a deal as i initially thought because so much of this stuff is just done done now like this entire page to get to rank eight it's literally like three seasonal things you are almost certainly going to do anyway and then a commendation thing i predict commendations will be deleted next season i don't think they will have them in this again and like that's it and like you're only, like so like you're almost guaranteed to get to rank eight doing essentially anything um you know running one flawless legend lost no even though that you don't even have to do that again do you because that one that one's already uh completed wait where do they put that one lost sectors that's for eight so that's already done so you don't even have to do that again um the nine stuff the only you know get to the whatever the new pinnacle cap is although the pinnacle cap is not supposedly great raising next time um so i don't know if that'll be a thing again get to 12 that's pretty easy for doing anything so e even getting to nine may be pretty easy just playing the season literally just playing the season and doing kind of the bare minimum that like a medium playtime player might do the certainly the pinnacle grind might take the longest but um you know I, I know the hardest core players are hitting the pinnacle grind in like a week what a week and a half two weeks uh and so then it'll be you know just kind of 10 and 11 like redoing gms you wouldn't even be able to get to, to 10 you know midway through the season so i think you're going to see a lot of people stuck at eight or nine for for a while um and then i don't know maybe they'll add more permanent ones in in the future but for now, it's it's kind of a weird system. Like, these are nonsense. Everybody starts here, no matter what playtime you have in, even if it's like, you know, 20 hours. Um, these you essentially have to do once and then just play the season every time to go up. And there's really no rewards for any of this other than the number itself and then these extra Cade voice lines and the little glowy celebration. So I would like to see this added to. Um, I, I don't think it is inherently bad. Like, I think... The commendation system is like almost actively harming the game because of how badly it was implemented. I don't like not seeing the score screen in most activities and having to tab over to it. It's very broken. Like people leave the activities. You can't commend them. People are just spamming whatever commendations. The commendations don't mean anything because they're very stupid things like thoughtful and fun loving. I don't even know like what half of those mean. So that is not, that is, that is the well-intentioned system implemented very poorly this is a well-intentioned system implemented very plainly and kind of pointlessly uh loadouts are implemented mostly very well with some a few glaring issues like not being able to transfer gear between characters and some some saving issues but like that was that's a genuinely good overall addition where the other two not so much but uh let me know what you think about this in the comments and we can discuss it further i i Guarantee there's going to be some somewhat significant changes to this uh, next season, and we will see what they come up with. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.